In an inconspicuous room at Sheffield Uni Student Union, a war is about to begin. The Sheffield Roboteer Society will be fighting Robo Dojo to become the ultimate ant weight. These ant weight robots weigh up to 150 grams and they will be abiding by the Fighting Robot Association's rules and regulations. The competition works like this. The first round features 16 robots competing in head-to-head -head knockout battles. The eight winners are straight through to round two. The losers will have to fight again in the lower bracket. Four of those will go through. The other four will be going home in bin bags. After the robots are weighed, declared safe, and the final adjustments are made, it's time for the first battle. Okay, so first up we have Van Dino versus Life and Death. Three, two, one. Activate! Van Dino making a very quick move of life and death, their life and death already spinning up. Van Dino taking a few chips out of the front and oh, that's a chip out of the back left corner of Van Dino. Van Dino is taking chips and not managing to get any grip on the on life and death here. It suddenly seems to be that they'll have to try to grab and that's the eye off of Van Dino. Chips out of the side of the arena there. Life and death is doing a little bit of damage but not seeming to get any large bites into the side of Van Dino there. Van Dino is surprisingly standing up quite well. Oh, and life and death on the corner there. And Dino trying to keep away from the pit and maybe trying to push life and death in. Life and death having a few issues with stabilization there. Life and death now upside down. Is this an immobilization? That's now life and death stuff. Life and death's been oh, Life and death has now been pieces. And Dino is the victor. Three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. That, ladies and gentlemen, and knockout. So the winner is Ant Dino by knockout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robbie, something tells me you might not be ready for your next. So, after that epic first fight, Ant Dino goes through to the winner's bracket. While it will be a battle of life and death for life and death in the lower bracket, if it can be fixed in time. But now, on to the next fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight we have the High Density Wedge Block or HDWB versus Ant Smash. Roboteers, are you ready? Three, two, one, activate! HDWB getting out of this corner very quickly. High uh, Ant Weight Smash spinning up and edging its way towards HDWB. HDWB getting pushed towards the corner. This is a risky area for him to be in. He's now caught on the edge. Slowly making his way, is he making? Oh, and he's made his way off the edge of the edge there. That's right, uh, Ant Smash now trying to, oh! That's both of them in the pit at the same time. I believe that's a restart as they are. As both robots fell in the pit at the same time, the match is paused and the robots are returned to their starting positions. Activate. The match has been continued. HCWB getting out again into the centre fast and, uh, and smash. And smash now trying to get him off the edge. Uh, this seemed to be a tactic that worked well for him in the previous game. Almost winning uh, him, uh, winning it before HCWB got him, uh, he got them both into the pit. HCWB having a small amount of uh, sort of trolls and HCWB is flipped upside down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Knockout. By knockout, that is a win to Ant Smash. Is it? I know. So Ant Smash takes the victory, flipping HDWB, who must now survive the lower bracket if they're to go further in the competition. So next up we have, have you tried turning it off and on again, versus wait for it. Roboteers, are you ready? 
three, two, one, activate. Wait for it very slowly, edging into the middle there. Oh, wait for it, going for a quick elimination, and has he managed to do it? Oh, and it looks like that. So wait for it takes a tumble, but still goes through to the next round. While have you tried turning it off and on again is pushed into the lower bracket. So our next fight is Because I Can on the right versus Torklift. Robotiz, are you ready? Yeah? <laughs> Three, two, one, activate. Because I can, making it very close to Torklift. Torklift uh, barely getting out of his uh, starting position there before he begins uh, contact. Because I can now trying to push Torklift towards the edge. The last time that this happened, uh, Because I can actually got wedged inside of Torklift and shorted something. So I believe that Torklift will be trying to avoid that today. Because I can is being very aggressive in his moves to push Torklift into corners and uh, edges of the arena. And Torklift seems to be struggling to, uh, to keep Because I can from actually doing anything here uh, at this point. Because I can is now trying to get Torklift towards the edge of the arena. This is definitely looking like it could be the end for Torklift. And Torklift is out of the arena. That's a win to Because I can. And a very convincing win there for Because I Can Recycled, pushing Torklift out of the arena and into the lower bracket. Because I Can, joining the winners. Next time, the qualifying round continues with more spinners, shocks and destructive Antway action. See you then.